Hello everyone and welcome back for a new session in securing your cloud application being built with Blazor, WebAssembly, and ASP.NET Core uh, API with using Azure Active Directory P2C. In this session, we are going to take a look how we can customize the login page. As you can see, right now I have my own logo and I have this custom background rather than the default the blue one with this uh, demo box. Just that they are provided with their own. Actually, this is somehow right now it can go ahead alongside your, your branding within the application so you can provide your, your colors and some stuff. And this is, we are going to use in this session something called Community Branding in Azure Active Directory PTC, which is a very cool feature and symbol that you are going to see that how we can do this in just a few clicks. And in another video or the next one, we are going to see how we can proceed with custom HTML page. Like we can create our own page with our own design and see how we can implement uh, those fields within it and other stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and see how we can set this up. What we have to do is, of course, you have to go to your Azure portal and then go to your Azure Active Directory P2C. And from over here, you have a section called Community Branding, one of the menu items. So if you click over here, you will see that there is a configure button if you are in, if you didn't configure this before. So and you click configure and here you will be asked for to upload your own branding and graphics. So the question that you'll be asked is for the background image, the banner logo, the background, of course, is the background image when you are on a big screen. Banner logo is the logo that's being shown at the top of the fields or at the top of the form. Username head, sign in, page text. Those are existing here, but on the Microsoft documentation that they have mentioned that currently the only available stuff is the sign in page, banner logo, and sign in background color. So those are the only, the, the, the one that are actually available right now. So, uh, so all you have to do is just to provide your own graphics, but make sure you are following the guidelines provided by Microsoft for you. So those are the required dimensions. And this is the range of the file that you should upload, the size of the file, and the same for the banner logo. So I've, I'm already here. If I click on this one, I already have in the folder here a background image and which satisfied the requirements and the size. And for the banner logo, it's also the same. So I'll make sure to choose this one. And basically this is it. I'm not going to provide any background color because I already have provided my own image. And uh, yeah, basically this is it. So if we go ahead and click save over here, then if we just wait a little bit, okay, that's it. So. Once you've seen this, then okay, you're ready to go. Whenever you want to uh, update, you can update them here. If you want to remove, you cannot click here because this one is the default uh, community branding. So if you want to do something, just click remove, remove, and clear the field that you have provided and click save over here and that's it. So it's pretty simple if you want to remove this one. So that's it. Right now, the next step is to go to the user flows. So user flows, basically Microsoft Azure Active Directory P2C provides you with three different layouts. And the fourth option is when you are creating your own HTML and your own, um, your own custom UI. So basically, if we open up our sign-in policy, we are going to see that there is here customize and page layout, or you can see it also here. So if I click on this one, you can see that here you have a template. If you click on this template, you will see ocean blue, slate gray, and the classic. Those are three different uh, built-in templates provided by Azure Active Directory P2C for us. By default, this is the most modern one, which is Ocean Blue, the one that, of course, I prefer as well. Sometimes the classic still, it's not bad, and in some cases it's being used. So let's take a look at uh, those different uh, templates. So this is the default one. Make sure that you are on the latest version to support the community branding, and this is all you have to do. Right now, I'll go back to the code. Uh, here, I have added a line in the program.cs, uh, in the Blazor app, which is option.providerOptions.login mode. And basically, this one is to allow you to, instead of opening the login in a pop-up, it's taking you to a different URL on the same page. I think this is better uh, to be able to see the UI better than a pop-up. And this one will also ask the user to save his credentials instead of a pop-up that actually doesn't. So I'm going to click on run the project to see what we have right now. So. Uh, let's take a look. Okay. That was pretty simple, actually. Let's see the result right now. 
Because I haven't done so much things. So here we go. Let me click on login. As you can see, it's not a pop-up anymore. I am being redirected from this page. And here we go. Look at that. This is an awesome stuff. I have a cool UI. I have a very cool uh, uh, logo over here. So somehow, like, yeah, they are using their own design. It's not bad. It's very good. It's great. Even if you click on sign up, you're going to see also. Uh, look at this. This is a very cool and gentle UI. So I don't think there is a need to basically go ahead and uh, override this one but sometimes if you want to do so this is possible and we are going to do this so right now let's try to to see the other design which is basically the slate gray template so I'm gonna choose this one page save changes okay here we go right now we have a new design for the login page let's see So, click on login, and yeah, it is this one. It's a little bit classic, not like that modern one, but it's still not bad as well. If you click sign up, you are going to see just the same page. And the third option that we have is basically template classic. This one is being used somehow by Microsoft and right now we are about you know microsoft build conference is in about 27 of may i think so this means that you are if you want to try right now to go ahead and register for microsoft build then in this case they are using azure active directory p2c and you can see that they are using the classic design so basically if i run this okay so click on login and look at that yeah so maybe you are somehow familiar with this one here i like this design in one case when you want to show something in your image more than your branding like you want to you want to share a story and basically let's let's go ahead and take a look at what Microsoft provided in their own, like Microsoft Build uh, 2021, register. So within this page, actually, if we go ahead and we click on sign in. So you see, this is what Microsoft they are doing. And I think this is the, this is the custom page, but they are here they are not using Azure Active Directory directly, they are using other identity providers like Microsoft Business Account or uh, LinkedIn and GitHub. We have all the flexibilities basically to do this. This is what we are going to implement in other videos like to implement Microsoft, LinkedIn and GitHub, Facebook and other uh, social media or other identity providers. So, but for now, this is the bit that we want to reach. You can use this one, but basically I will go ahead and take this back to Ocean Blue. So we get back to the default design. So in the next video, we're going to take a look how we can create our own HTML and how we can host that page in, in, in somewhere. Oh, okay. Then uh, basically, yeah, this is it. You're going to uh, proceed with this one and then we will move to the uh, identity providers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.